every year for the past 55 years, the IBEW 7th District, in partnership with the NECA 5th District, have hosted an Inside Apprentice Contest. And this year, they're hosting the event right here at the Fuquiva Hotel in Phoenix, Arizona. Best of luck this morning. This year we have 17 contestants here. This group, probably the most talented, we say that every year, but these are the best of the best. This is the cream of the crop. We're training the best electricians in the world, bar none. We are in a competition in our marketplace. Uh, we are constantly striving to demonstrate that we are uh, offering the best product in the electrical construction industry, uh, the greatest value. We're in a competitive world. You look at our Code of Excellence program with the IBW. Be the best, be the best. Well, this showcases that and this helps promote that and helps push that in a positive manner. Each participant has been selected by their local JATC to represent them and must be in their final year of training. It's a big opportunity. You know, you, you show people how determined you are and how much aptitude you have. And I said, you need to do it because people notice it. It feels good. I mean, uh, pretty much have to be the best one in your in your apprenticeship class to get to come out here. So that was kind of cool that I, I got to come. There was a lot of talented guys in my class. Anyone could have won it and to be chosen, really big honor for me and my family. Now that you've been selected from your local, time to see if you have what it takes to win the competition. It's an eight hour competition, which combines a written test of electrical theory and code with practical hands-on tasks, like complex motor controls and the energizing of a three-phase buck boost transformer. With the final score of 22 in the written exam, 38 on code questions, and 100 on the practical, Matthew Gerslin from Local 520 is our winner. My job is to solve the problem they've provided for me, and uh, so I did that. There was a lot of good electricians here today, and um, you know I respect all their accomplishments, and, and I'm just glad to be included amongst good company. Every day, I'm honored that I get to provide my wife with a paycheck. And for me, my goal is to make my wife and children happy and then do the best I can for my local and my community and the IBEW in general. Win or lose, just being there and being able to compete against the best in the country was an accomplishment for everyone. It opens up a lot of doors. I know as soon as um, people started finding out, um, I was pretty low profile at school and then all of a sudden everybody was, you know, wanting to meet me. I would tell everybody else, take the classes seriously, you know, try your best and when the time comes around you'll be prepared. These apprentices will become not only outstanding journeymen but they're, they're the next generation of supervisors, project managers, estimators and hopefully NECA contractors down the road. We'd certainly welcome other districts to take on uh, the challenge, in fact, uh, I'm sure that IBW 7 and NECA 5 would be more than willing to challenge others to uh, pick up the, the gauntlet and, and run with it and see if uh, maybe we could make it a, a regional uh, or national uh, contest. It would be outstanding. Next year, the event will be in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I'm sure it will be a huge success. For IBEW Hour Power, I'm Matthew Walton.